Hi there. Thank you for joining me for this video. Some time ago, we did a full system backup of an RC600 loop station, all 99 memory locations. At that time, I mentioned it's also possible to do a partial backup of just a select few memory locations if you wish. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go inside the Roland folder and track down just the files you're after targeting specific memory locations. It's very easy to do and let's just get right to it and we'll see what's involved in a partial system backup. Here we are at the RC600. I'm currently at memory 23 and in the last few days I've been using memories 23 to 27. They're the only ones that have anything on it and I want to do a partial backup of those few memories. My USB cable is plugged into the RC600 already and the other end I will plug into the computer momentarily. First off, let's go to the menu list. We'll scroll over one screen and we'll click into the USB sub menu. Let's turn on storage. That's all we need to do here. Now let's switch over to the computer and look at uh, Windows Explorer. I'd like you to keep your eyes in this area right here and you'll soon see a little bit of activity when I plug in the USB cable to the computer. And that is happening right now. Okay, so an icon popped up, you heard Windows respond and now we're able to enter the directories of the RC600 and we can see what is inside. Now I want to do a backup of memories 23 to 27. So I'm going to make a folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it partial backup December 2022. Okay. I'm also inside this folder, I'm going to make two other folders that will correspond with what is inside the RC600. There's a data folder and there is a wave folder. And I want to have corresponding folders in my backup folder. So, we could leave that window open. Let's leave that here. I'm going to move it to the side though a little bit and just kind of shrink that down a little so that we can see both of these windows at the same time. So now this is my backup. I've got a data and a wave folder and this is the RC600. We can double click this icon or I can go to this list and I can scroll down to RC600 and click once. Let's do that and here it is the Roland folder. If I click this little arrow here I will also see the Roland folder here. I can click once here or on this side of the Windows Explorer you click twice. And now we see wave folder and data folder just like I made here. These are empty these are inside the RC600. So let's first look inside the data folder. And in here, memory 001a.rco, memory 001b.rco, basically what happens is each memory location has two files associated with the memory. So memory 001 has an A file, A file and a B file. Now we want memory number 23 to memory number 27. So scrolling down, just scroll down this list. Be careful you don't move anything or delete anything or change anything. This is actually live files inside the RC600. There is memory number 23, file A, and file B, and I want to go all the way down to memory number 27, A and B. Well, in Windows, when you click on the first file that you want, 
and then you go down and click on the last file you want, you can hold down shift and press the bottom file and that highlights everything in between. Now these files I'm going to drag over, so right click and hold the mouse button down, drag it over to the data folder that you made in your backup folder on your desktop. Let it go here and click on copy. And it happens awful fast. It doesn't take any time at all. Now let's back up a little bit. These files are now inside this data folder. So let's back up to the Roland level and we can look now inside the WAVE folder. Double clicking that. Now these are the WAVE files that are available per memory. And of course there are six tracks per memory so each memory location has six corresponding folders inside of which will be any tracks that you've recorded bits and pieces or overdubs or anything at all that you've recorded if you've saved it those WAV files will be inside here. For memory 1 there are 6 for memory 2 there are 6 memory 3 there are 6 you get the idea there's going to be about 600 folders in this list. So we were at memory number 23 so scrolling down we're going to find 023 underscore one that oops click once on there without holding the shift button down click once and that's the first folder in memory 23 and we're going to go down to the last folder in memory 27 so that is 027 underscore six hold down shift and click that file now everything in between 023 underscore one and 027 underscore 6, they're all highlighted. Let's copy by right clicking and instead of drag and drop we will just right click and go down this list to copy and then I'm going to go over to the wave folder and I'm going to right click paste into that folder and now you'll see a little this we didn't see this the last time because it happened almost instantaneous but when the when there's more files and larger files you may see that chart come up letting you know the progress of the file transfer anyway it's finished now it's done we are finished so if i close this window let's now have a look this one is our partial backup folder on the desktop. If we look inside the wave folder, here are 023 underscore one, all six of its folders, and all the way down to 027, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're all here between memory 23 and 27. Scroll, move, moving up again one level, you can either click here or you can click this arrow to go up a level or in the uh, on the desktop now you could click on partial backup and navigate your way around there's multiple ways to do this anyway currently we're looking in the partial backup folder the data folder is here and there are two files per memory so there are oh, about 10 or 12 files here and we can see now that we are finished so the next thing to do RC600 is on this list we can right click on it and press eject and then you'll see this safe to remove hardware. What that means is that Windows has stopped any actions that are happening between the RC600 and the computer. There's no files being transferred, there's no communication, so pulling out the USB cable will not cause any harm. Let's pull out the USB cable right now and go back 
to the RC600. And there we go, we are right back where we left off at memory number 23. So on my computer is a backup of 23 to 27 and they're all still in the loop station as well. So they're still here, I can still use them and I in the next video will do a full system and memory reset and we'll see how easy that is. And that's all there is to it. We've done a partial backup. Well, there you go. It turns out it's very easy to do a partial system backup. All you need to do is go inside the Roland folder and navigate through the data files and the WAV files to find the specific ones that you are after. Save them to another folder on your desktop and keep the uh, names of the folders straight so that you know what's going on and what is where. One day you'll want to transfer them back into your loop station and you'll be wondering which folders and files they were. So remember, labeling is everything. Naming the folder that you put them in will be very helpful to you later on. Anyway, in the next couple of videos, we're going to restore partial files back into the RC600 and you'll see how easy that is. So stick around, watch another couple of videos, and we'll see you again. Bye now.